Hello students, welcome back to our class. Let us continue with the problems given in previous board examinations related to surface areas and volumes. Let us have a quick look on this problem. So, here the problem given is uh, a cone of height 24 centimeters and radius of the base is 6 centimeters is made up of modeling clay. A child reshapes it in the form of a sphere find the surf, find the radius of the sphere as well as surface area of the sphere. See on the whole when you understand the problem the material is reshaped, but the quantity of the material is not reduced at. So, what do you mean by that when one shape when one shape is transformed into the other shape then the volume of the quantity remains unchanged. See here the cone is transformed into a sphere. So, cone whatever the material required to make a cone with the same material with the same material a sphere has been formed. So, that means the volume of the first shape should be same as the volume of the second shape. See here a cone is transformed into a sphere. I am just drawing a rough figure. This is what is the cone. Okay. So, this cone of of course, radius is given as well as the height is also given if I am not wrong. A cone of height 24 centimeters. So, height of the cone is equal to 24 centimeters and base radius of the cone is also given as 6 centimeters. So, this is 6 centimeters is transformed into into another solid that another solid is a sphere. Okay. So, this is another solid is called sphere. What is required? You need to first find out the radius of the sphere. So, what is the radius of the sphere? This is equal to how much? In order to find radius of the sphere according to the given problem. So, this figure is transformed into this figure means this solid is transformed into this solid. It means the volumes of both the figures remains unchanged. So, I am going to do that according to the given problem according to the given problem volume of cone should be same as volume of what is that sphere volume of cone is equal to volume of sphere. See sphere has only radius and that radius and this radius both may be not may be same or may not be same we do not know that. So, that is why I am going to use different letters like R1 and R2, right? So, volume of cone. What is the formula for volume of cone? 1 third pi R1 square H is equal to volume of sphere is going to be 4 third pi R2 cube. Got it? So, now I am going to substitute the values, but before I substitute the values, is there any cancellation? Yes, of course. Here 3 and 3 gets cancelled and pi and pi gets cancelled. So, finally, you left with r 1 square into h is equal to r 2 cube and 4 is also there multiplied by 4. Okay. r 1 is nothing but radius of the cone. Radius of the cone is equal to 6 centimeters. So, r square is equal to 6 into 6 multiplied by height. Height of the cone is going to be 24. So, 24 is equal to R2 cube multiplied by 4. I think you are almost there in finding the value of R2. See here 4 ones and 4 6 are 24. So, finally, what we get here 6 into 6 into 6 is going to be 6 cube is equal to R2 cube. So, what did you get the value of R2? Therefore, the value of R2 is going to be 6 centimeters. It means the radius of the sphere is going to be 6 centimeters. So, the first part of the problem is completed. And what is second part of the problem? Find the radius of the sphere. Of course, we found the radius of the sphere and hence find the surface area of the sphere. So, what is the formula for surface area of the sphere? So, the formula for <coughs> formula for surface area of the sphere is going to be. So, what is the surface area of the sphere here? Uh, like I have the cone here as well as right. I think missed out something here. 
uh, I, I already got the value of uh, radius of the cone. So, radius of the sorry sphere, radius of the sphere is going to be 6 centimeters. After finding the radius of the sphere, uh, what am I going to find here? I am going to find r is equal to 6 centimeters, okay. r2 is equal to 6 centimeters, that is what the sphere. After that, I am going to find what is the surface area of the sphere. So, what is the formula for surface area of the sphere? So, surface area of the sphere is going to be 4 pi r square. We already discussed about this in the last class that how to derive all the values. Okay? So, surface area of the sphere is equal to 4 pi r square since r is equal to r2 that is why I am just using that which is going to be 4 times pi is going to be 22 by 7, but radius is equal to 6, so that 6 into 6. So, when you multiply everything, what we get here, 6, 6 are 36 and uh, 22, 4 are 88 multiplied by 36 divided by 7, uh, but when you simplify this, what is the value that you are getting here, 8, 6 are 48, 8, 4 and um, 8, 3 are 24, 24 plus uh, 4 is equal to, 24 plus 4 is 28, 288 and 288, how much is this, 8, 8 twos are 16, 6, 1, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 plus 1, 11, 1, 1, 3, 1, 6, 8, which is equal to 3, 1, 6, 8 divided by 7 centimeter cube, sorry centimeter square is the surface area of the sphere that is so obtained. Hope you understand how to answer the problem. See here, the basic idea behind answering this problem is one quantity is transforming into the other quantity. It means volumes remains unchanged. So, basing on that particular idea, you will have to find volume of the sphere, uh, what is this volume of the cone as well as volume of the sphere. Please do not try to find the values of the volumes individually because individual calculation takes much time and you might not get the proper answer also. So, try to answer and try to calculate in one go. Hope you understand my point. See here, I did not find what is the volume of the cone separately and I did not equate that volume of the cone with the volume of the sphere. As per the given information, I equated directly volume of the cone with volume of the sphere and whatever the cancellation happened, they cancel there itself. So, by then you will definitely get the answer easily. Hope you understand? Right. Let us move on to the next problem. See here the next problem given is a farmer connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters from a canal into a cylindrical tank in his field which is 10 meters in diameter and 2 meters in deep. If water flows through the pipe at the rate of 3 kilometers per hour, in how much time will the tank be filled? Of course, this is the just similar to the problem we already discussed. Okay? So, this problem also related to speed, distance as well as time. So, how are you going to answer this problem? See, observe clearly, a farmer connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters from a canal into a cylindrical tank. See, the pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters means what is the shape of the pipe? Shape of the pipe should be a cylinder. Okay? See, for example, this is a canal. I am just drawing here. This is a canal. A farmer connects a pipe. So, he connected a pipe like this. This is one pipe and he connected a pipe of internal diameter. Of course, the diameter of the pipe is also given into a cylindrical tank. So, this is a cylindrical tank, okay. This is a cylindrical tank into a cylindrical tank and what is the information given here? A farmer connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters. So, this is what the internal diameter. So, I am using small letters for this pipe and capital letters for this tank. Then there is no confusion at all. So, internal diameter means small d is equal to 20 centimeters. So, when the diameter equal to 20 centimeters, what is the radius of the pipe which is going to be 10 centimeters? Okay, fine. 
into a cylindrical tank which is 10 meters in diameter right so the diameter of the tank let it be capital D is equal to how much 10 meters in diameter so 10 meters in diameter then what is the radius of the tank radius of the tank is going to be 5 meters radius of the tank equal to 5 meters and deep is equal to 2 meters so what do you mean by deep means depth of the tank is equal to height let it be capital H which is equal to how much is this depth is equal to 2 meters okay depth is equal to 2 meters see we know the dimensions of this cylindrical tank but we do not know the dimensions of this cylindrical pipe because we know what is the radius of the pipe but we do not know what is the length of the pipe but length of the pipe is equal to distance traveled by the water through the pipe in the given particular period of time that is what you need to understand for that what is the information given if the water flows through the pipe at the rate of 3 kilometers per hour that is what the very important information that we need see water is flowing through the pipe what is the speed of the water there which is equal to 3 kilometers per hour 3 kilometers per hour and what do you want here how much time will the tank be filled so we do not know what is the time taken so time taken is equal to t hours time taken is equal to t hours now as per the given information volume of the cylindrical pipe can be considered as with the help of this radius is equal to 10 centimeters and the water is flowing through the pipe at the rate of 3 kilometers per hour in t hours that can be considered as the height of that cylindrical pipe so height of the cylindrical pipe or length of the cylindrical pipe can be considered as what is the volume of the water or what is the quantity of the water distance traveled by distance traveled by the water through the cylindrical pipe so the distance traveled by the water through the cylindrical pipe can be considered as the length of the pipe or height of the cylindrical pipe but already we discussed everything should be in same units see here it is in meters here it is in meters of course kilometers can be converted into meters so that this radius should also be converted into meters so here radius is equal to 10 centimeters i can write it as 10 centimeter equal to 10 by 100 meters so 10 by 100 meters means what 1 by 10 meters that is the radius and I am going to find what is the distance traveled by the water so that distance traveled by the water distance traveled by the water distance traveled by the water is equal to height of the cylindrical pipe which is equal to what is the formula for distance that is speed multiplied by time speed multiplied by time so that distance is equal to what is speed of the water 3 kilometers per hour 3 kilometers per hour times time is equal to t hours right so here hour and an hour gets cancelled but kilometers should be converted into meters then d is equal to 3 kilometers means 3 into 1000 meters this is what the distance traveled by the water so as per our discussion distance traveled by the water is equal to length of the cylindrical pipe so I am taking it as height of the cylindrical pipe so I am using of course using small letters as well as capital letters there is no issue so this is what the very important thing that you need to understand see 3 kilometers is equal to 3000 into t so you can write it as of course 3 into 1000 meters into t otherwise into t you can write somewhere into t meters also no issues at all right according to the given problem according to the given problem volume of cylindrical pipe is equal to volume of cylindrical tank volume of cylindrical pipe equal to volume of cylindrical tank what is volume of cylindrical pipe I will write directly the formulas for this cylindrical pipe I should use small letters and cylindrical tank I should use uppercase letters okay so what is the formula for volume of cylinder 
volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h. So, I use pi small r square small h which is equal to pi capital R square capital H. Okay? Of course, I can cancel pi and pi. Then small r, small r is equal to 1 by 10. So, I would write it as 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 because that is R square multiplied by H. H is equal to what? 3 into 1000 into T. So, 3000 multiplied by T which is equal to here capital R. Capital R is going to be 5 meters. Capital R square means 5 multiplied by 5 times capital H is going to be 2 meters that is 2. Clear? Let us see the cancellation now. Here 1 0, 1 0, 2 zeros and 2 zeros gets cancelled. And here it is only 30 and this is 5 into 5 into 2. Correct? So, how do you cancel otherwise transpose this 30 that side. Therefore, T is equal to 5 times 5 times 2 divided by 30. Okay? So, this is 30, right? So, 30 means what? This is totally hours, right? So, since it is hours, I am going to write this hours into minutes. So, minutes means 1 hour is equal to how many minutes? 60 minutes. 60 minutes. So, 31s and 32s are 60. Now, see it is very much simpler now. 5 5s are 25, 25 4s are 100. So, the time taken by this cylindrical Pipe to fill the cylindrical tank is going to be 100 minutes. So, within 100 minutes, the tank be filled. So, this is the way to answer the problem. Of course, you can expect one problem related to speed, distance, time even in any chapter in our board examination. Hope you understand and enjoy the class. Thank you.